Squad is quads back with another video. This time we are reviewing a new build that I've built. This is the most genius opening to a video ever. However, the build is a little bit more of a genius than I am because this is a on the nose 249 gram four inch freestyle. This is of course a self build. So let's run through the parts. We've got the RC in power 1804 2450 kV motor. So that gives us a nice 4s power we are using the rush fpv m10 gps the flight controller is the all-in-one at32 from new neuronic neutronic new something or other new but not old definitely not old it uses the at32 as opposed to the bl heli 32 it has a faster chipset and is overall supposed to be a lot better for a lot cheaper and it is and it also isn't but we'll come to that we also have the new cadex moonlight is this going to rival the dji 03 air unit or not i exclusively fly the 03 air unit now so i can back to back test this against i actually have a version of this exact frame with different parts and an 03 and then the frame itself is the incredible carnage four inch from my guy sub 250 over there on instagram big shout out so you'll notice that lots of the wires are quite long and there's lots of extra bits here and there and i've not sh shaved the weight by taking out everything and his dog there's a reason for that see if you want to do freestyle but do it in sub 250 ideally you want to keep it as close to 250 as possible because the lighter you go the more floaty it becomes and the less it feels like a five inch proper fpv drone so i kept the wires long i kept three motor screws in i am indeed a rebel and i managed to make it on the button on the nose 249 grams and here is a picture so i'm going to review each individual part and then how they go together as a package first of all i'm going to go with the rc in power 1804 motors now the other version i have of this has 1604 motors these do feel slightly less powerful than the t-motor ones that i've got um but there's enough power here for the majority of things obviously if you want to go balls out really hard freestyle you probably want maybe slightly larger maybe 2004 but for 99.9 percent .9 of flies these are our perfect motors and they are seeing power so we know that they're quality we know we know what we're getting with them um and i would recommend them yeah absolutely go for it now i am uh, officially now a sponsored pilot by hq props and we have the hq tri blades on here the four inch and uh, these provide more than ample lift and control for this drone uh, truth be told i wouldn't fly any other props for this than these hqs they are a perfect weight a perfect size perfect pitch and they just give exactly the right amount of control and lift so again go with those and the frame the frame is i mean it's so easy to work on it's so open um, everything's in the right place you can get it from cnc drones um, or the, the guy i think sometimes provides you with with ones direct i don't know if that's still an agreement and an arrangement in place i probably should have checked before i made this video really but this particular pink one did come from cnc drones and it is slightly thicker as well and there's a reason for that this is not a build for me this is a build for a subscriber called boy wonder fpv check his channel out in the description below and go and give him a follow so what we wanted to do is make the frame as strong as possible so we went with a slightly thicker version um and he loves pink so we we got the pink color i don't know what you call it is it enamel i don't know uh, let me know in the comments below because i'm stupid and obviously we've got the rc and power motors which have a hint of pink on them as well to match for him so he absolutely loves it so the the, the frame is absolutely 100 percent recommended this is the second four inch carnage frame that i've got um and i will be trying some more of sub 250s other frames in the future i've actually got quite excited recently about the sub 250 genre um for, for months and months and months i've taken the mick out of barry morgan fpv link below for flying tiny whoops and micro drones and then i received the flywoo fly lens 85 last month and i am pretty much obsessed with flying them myself so brilliant so sub 250 hit me up boy so the frame is dead easy to work on it's really strong it looks lovely and it will fit an o3 air unit it will fit the new cadex moonlight i believe it fits the old walk snail pro 
and it'll probably fit the HD Zero as well. And if you're living in 1873, it will also fit analog. Watch my subscriber count go down now. I love you, analog pilots. It's just not for me. So the first issue we came to on this was this AT32 Neuronic, Neutronic, whatever, new something or other flight controller. So I initially flashed it with Beta Flight 4.5, and for some reason that didn't work, but it told me it did work. So when I went to take it out of flying, it looked like it was flying over speed humps every time it moved forward. It was shaking itself to bits that bad. Checked on the black box and it told me that there was no filtering applied, but there was filtering applied, which led me to believe there was a slight issue somewhere along the lines with the flash that had gone through on Betaflight. Until very recently, this wasn't actually supported directly by Betaflight. So we had a look at it, we tried to tune it, we tried to figure out what was wrong with it, and we threw our hands up in the air and we reflashed it with a new Betaflight release candidate. And it improved it lots, but there were still problems. So we was about to start crying, and then we thought, let's add extra gummies to the bottom of it, because it, although it looked like it was sat okay, we figured it does have a faster processor, it may well be more susceptible to a little bit of noise and a little bit of vibrations through that frame. So we stuck with the yellow gummies underneath the flight controller and now she flies like an angel. So the flight controller now is supported in Betaflight. It's dead easy to set up. It's like any other flight controller. I, I haven't actually found out a way of flashing the ESCs. I don't know even if there is an updated um, ESC firmware or not. Because I've had a look on the ESC configurator and it brings them up and it shows them, but it doesn't show that there's any other firmware. So I'm guessing that's how you would do it, but I'm guessing that there just isn't any other firmware for the ESCs yet. And to be fair, once it's set up properly, as per the manual, because none of us read the manual, but you'll need to if you get one of these, it flies really, really well. And for the price, it's an absolute bargain. So would I recommend it? Yes, I would recommend it with that caveat. But I'd also be aware that when the company released this, they did say it was for 6S. And since they've released like a bit to the manual that says don't use 6s if you have this particular revision or that particular revision so just bear that in mind it is a new company i believe it's definitely a new product and there's going to be some teething troubles so if you want to pick up a flight controller that you just flash install and forget about this is probably not the one for you but if you want bleeding edge technology and you want to keep your prices down and the weight down then go with this because it's brilliant eventually now the cadex moonlight okay so touted as a replacement for the DJI 03 Air unit. I believe, personally, that it's very, very good at what it does. And if we hadn't have had the DJI 03 Air unit, we would probably be sat here now having a different conversation. The problem I've got is that the DJI 03 Air unit is about 20 quid more expensive, has way better penetration, way... Oh, you... No, hang on. Just realised. What? Um, I, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Be better stability management control and way better. Well, no, not way better, but it does have better image quality. It's not massive, so ignore that last bit. It isn't, the, the difference between them isn't ginormous, but it's enough to think I might as well just spend that extra 20 quid. And then when you factor into the, the point that if you want to stabilise your footage from the moonlight, you have to have either the uh, phone app of Gyroflow or the PC app of Gyroflow. You've got to put your footage through that and then you've got to find your lens profile, find your gyro data. Potentially, if you've only got a phone and not a PC, it can take about 20 minutes to then spit out a stabilised version then you've got both the stabilized and the unstabilized version on your phone make sure you delete the unstabilized one with the o3 air unit it will just do all that for you you can do it post in gyro flow if you want and some people can make it look better that way but for 99 percent of users the file that the o3 air unit spits out with the stabilization already applied is phenomenal and then we come to the other <laughs> other issues with the, the Cadex Moonlight. To get the very best out of it, you have, you've got to use the included ND filter and it doesn't fit on this frame because it's ginormous. Somebody will probably hopefully put in the comments below a way of doing it without having to dremel off the standoffs. The, the, I'm, I'm going to assume there's going to be a way of doing it. Um, I don't know, maybe there's a, an STL file where I can 3D print something, I don't know. So that's a, a disappointment and obviously that would, to be fair, that would also take it over 250 grams once we get that on, but that's fine because I've left lots of things on that can be removed very easily and get it under that weight. So we've got to consider the fact that the Cadex Moonlight is heavier 
and is larger than the DJI 03A unit. For example, for Boy Wonder FPV, I was looking at potentially a Pavo Pico 20, I believe it is, with the enclosed area for the DJI 03 and the ducks around. I reached out to Beta FPV and said, will a Moonlight VTX fit in here? And they said, no, it's too big. So just because it fits an 03 doesn't mean it's necessarily going to fit the Cadex Moonlight. And that's why I think the frame from Sub 250 is fantastic because it fits everything, including your 16th century analog tech panic for, for you pilots out there. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Don't subscribe. I'm only joking a little bit. So I've included on screen, obviously, some of the footage that the, the Moonlight does spit out. And for most platforms it's and especially for social media it's, it's absolutely brilliant you've also got the two aerials as well against the one aerial on the dji 03 so you got that that to bear in mind as well so as a build as a whole i'd highly recommend one of these using the exact same spec that i've used i can't see any particular reason why you would change this especially if you are an existing walk snail pilot gotta be honest i would probably say put an 03 air unit in it just because it's that little bit easier, that little bit lighter, and it's less faffing. And if you wanted to use a DJI 03A unit, you can fit the camera in and add an ND filter. I know this because I've got one. Now it goes without saying, would I recommend this to a newbie? I wouldn't say that this is a great newbie FPV drone, especially if you are one of these newbies that wants to fly in concrete or in bandos. If you're just flying over a field, not into trees like I do, um, then it's absolutely fine because whilst you could argue the electronics are not massively protected by the frame, it's it, the, the, the VTX is sat on top of it and you'd be extremely unlucky to, to actually damage the electronics. It, it would have to be quite a bad crash and considering that this isn't a hard, full-on, crazy freestyle 5 inch with the weight of it, you know, it's unlikely that you're going to cause massive damage to it. So probably not. But if you're a newbie that's not doing mad, crazy you know in your face my flips before you're able to walk then absolutely this is this is nice it's really really easy to control really locked in um, and i'll also include a so i'll include a parts list and i'll also include a detail on the tune as well i'll probably put the tune on the screen at the end but do go and give boy wonder fpv a sub because he's going to be flying this through the summer this is this is his new drone so I'll give him a little bit of support he is the new generation of pilot thank you everyone for all your support with these videos the recent views have gone through the roof and it's not possible without you guys so thank you so much I will that's wonderful thank you We'll leave you in peace now. If you've got any questions about this build or any individual part that you've seen within this build, just drop a comment below and I will give you an answer. Until next time, you've been amazing and I've been quads.